Welcome. Today's topic is relating fractions, decimals, and percents. I think of these as the three states of a number, kind of the way in science you learn about the three states of matter, solid, liquid, and gas. For example, water as a liquid is water, as a solid it's ice, and as a gas it's steam. So a number can also change between these different states, but still essentially be the same thing. So first of all, percents. This is our definition. It's a ratio, that means it's a fraction, that compares a number to 100. So percents are ratios that compare a number to 100. For example, 3% is a comparison of 3 to 100 or three hundredths. Another example, 100% equals 100 compared to 100, which happens to equal 1. So 100% is the same as the number 1. To convert a percent to a fraction, you take away the percent symbol and put the number over 100. Then you reduce. So 15% equals 15 over 100. We can reduce this one by 5. So 15 divided by 5 equals 3, and 100 divided by 5 equals 20. So 15% is the same as 3 twentieths. Why don't you try these two and then check back with me? 20% equals 20 hundredths. This can be reduced by 20, and we're going to get 1 over 5. 2% equals 2 over 100, and this can be reduced by 2. So we're going to get 1 over 50. To convert a fraction to a percent, you just multiply by 100%, and you make that a fraction, 100% over 1. Here's an example to make one-tenth into a percent. Multiply by 100% over 1. 1 times 100 equals 100% over 10. And then we're going to reduce it, or divide by 10. You get 10% over 1 equals 10%. So why don't you try 2 thirds? So I would multiply this by 100% over 1. 2 times 100% equals 200%, 3 times 1 equals 3, and so we're going to divide. 200% divided by 3, so 3 goes into 200. Let's see, 7 times 3 is 21, that's too big, so it's going to be 6 times 3 equals 18. 20 minus 18 is 2, bring down the 0. So again, we have 3 going into 20, and I can see the repeating pattern. So we have 6 times 3 equals 18, and there's a remainder of 2, put point 0, bring down the 0, and 3 goes into 20 again 6 times, and this is going to be a repeating decimal. So 66 and 2 thirds percent, or 66.6 .6 repeating percent. Again, try this example on your own, and then check back with me for the answer. Here once again, we'll use the technique of multiplying by 100% over 1. Here, you could just multiply straight across, and you'd get 200% divided by 5, but I like to cross-cancel, so I think I will. 5 goes into 100 20 times, and therefore, 2 times 20 equals 40, and the answer is 40%, which you would have gotten the same answer the other way. To convert a decimal to a percent, multiply by 100%. Here's three quick examples. So 0.125, or 0 0.125, times 100%. So when you multiply any number by 100, it moves the decimal two places to the right. Our answer is going to be 12.5, and we keep the percent sign. Our next example is 0 0.3. Let's multiply by 100%. That will move the decimal once, twice to the right, so it becomes, well, I like to put an egg in the carton, and that'll be 30.0, or just 30%. Finally, we have 0 0.7 times 
move that decimal once, twice to the right, it would be 7.0 or just 7%. Converting a percent to a decimal is a lot like converting a percent to a fraction, except then you divide. So let's write this down. To convert a percent to a decimal, take away the percent symbol and put the number over 100, then divide. So 16%, as we learned before, would be the same as 16 over 100. Only now, instead of reducing, as we would for a fraction, we'll divide. And since dividing by 100 is just as easy as multiplying by 100, this is going to be as simple as moving the decimal two places to the left. So the answer is 0 0.16. The, the, there's no difference between 0 0.16 and just 0 0.16, so that's fine. Okay, you, either way that you write it. So why don't you try these three? and then check back with me. Change these from percents back to decimals. So 2% equals 2 over 100. Dividing by 100 moves that decimal place two places to the left. Remember, if there's no decimal on a number, that you put the decimal at the end and then move it two places to the left. And then I like to call this putting the egg in the carton. The the answer would be 0 0.02. 365% would be 365 divided by 100. You can tell already this is going to be larger than 1, right? Because 365 divided by 100 equals 3.65. And the last example here, we have 4.5% or 4.5%. So 4.5 over 100. When we move the decimal twice to the left, again, we're going to put an egg in the carton, and this would be 0 0.045. So, as we've said, percents are ratios that compare a number to 100. And frequently, you'll see something like this chart, where you're given one piece of information, and you have to find the other two. So in this case, we're given the fraction. So, 3 tenths which is the same as 30 over 100. So that tells me the percent already. It's going to be 0 0.030 and 30%. And you could call the decimal 0.3 as well, because 3 tenths or 30 hundredths is the same thing. A half? Well, I can convert that to 50 hundredths. So it's going to be 0.5 or 0.50, and that equals 50%. Finally, 3 fourths equals 75 hundredths, which is 0.75 or 75%. These are ones that I consider mental math. To convert a fraction to a decimal, divide the numerator by the denominator. You guys know how to do this. We've been doing this for a long time. So I'll let you try this example on your own. You're just going to divide the numerator 1 divided by the denominator 8. I'll even give you a hint. It's going to look like this, right? I put a few decimals on there because I know that 8 doesn't fit inside 1. It's going to be a decimal number. Just check back with me after you've solved this, and I'll show you the answer. Well, that's right. The answer is 0.125, and that's the end of today's lesson.